and welcome to Late Edition. I'm Sakhal Bhatt and today's talking point tonight is Uttarakhand political crisis. What happens next? The Nenital High Court has ordered a floor test in the Uttarakhand Assembly on March 31st. This is the latest that we get to hear from there. It has also allowed the Rebel Congress MLAs to take part in the floor test. Registrar General of Nenital High Court will be present as an observer during the floor test. The High Court order comes following the plea filed by Congress yesterday, challenging President's rule in Uttarakhand. Now, remember earlier, former Chief Minister Harish Rawat also led a Congress delegation which was consisting of 34 MLAs to Raj Bhavan and he also met Governor K.K. Paul to register their protest against the central rule. Now, the NDA government on its part has justified the imposition of President's rule saying the state politics was subjected to horse trading and allurement as Congress wanted to alter the numbers in the House. And tonight on Late Edition, we are going to talk about the political crisis in Uttarakhand and the, what happens on 31st, the possible scenarios and the emerging political situation in this state, which is also looking at assembly polls in the next year. And on the panel on late edition today, I have R.P. Singh, the senior BJP leader representing BJP. Thank you very much, Mr. Singh, for joining us. Tom Badakan from Congress and senior journalist uh, Harish Gupta joining us on the show. Uh, Tom Badakan, let me come to you first. Uh, now that uh, the Rebel Congress MLAs will also be taking part in the floor test on 31st, I can see you're already smiling on that question. Is that adding to your problems or is it subtracting to your challenges? Uh, how are you looking at this latest floor test on 31st plus Congress Rebel MLAs taking part in that exercise? See, I smiled because there's a lot of poetic justice in the whole uh, issue. Justice in the sense that judiciary is involved. Poetic justice. Yeah, the okay. word I used was poetic justice. Hmm. Uh, judiciary is, is involved. The issue is larger. It's not about BJP or opposition. Mm -hmm. Any government can come in the center. And if the dispensations of the day decide to override federalism on the basis of, I think never in the history uh, has a government been dismissed on charges of horse trading. Horse trading is one trade which has been um, currently happening in Arunachal Pradesh. Uh, my friend uh, from the Bharti Janta Party will argue did not happen. But my but charges... But aren't you worried, aren't you worried house in Arunachal Pradesh as well? First it was Arunachal yes. and then it's Uttarakhand. Within two months there's so much of intra... Uh, political uh, rebellion in the past. See, when you had to bring the black money which was to be given to you, 16, 17 lakhs, that has not come in. But that means something is coming in. There's huge money power in this whole game. And that money power is being utilized by the government of the day to buy MLAs. But then in why are states, your MLAs succumbing to that temptation? It, it is a fact of, it's a fact of life. Let's, uh, when this kind of money power and muscle power intervenes, democracy gets into a place where it has no part in the games that are played. Mm -hmm. Democracy is about the structure, the constitution, federalism. If every government, okay. if every government, I repeat, is removed on the basis of muscle power and uh, horse trading, you don't need the democracy. So you you're don't content? Need, you don't need the election commission. Okay. Then you can just okay. do horse trading, insider okay. trading. Well, you are uh, charging them, BJP, for horse trading. At the same time, BJP says that in Uttarakhand, uh, your party indulged in horse trading and uh, tampering with numbers. Uh, Mr. Singh, how do you respond to Tom Vadakhan's charge on the BJP plus the options that you have uh, now? Uh, we understand that uh, uh, the uh, Nenital High Court is not the final authority. You've already moved to Supreme Court. Perhaps you will. Uh, what's the way forward for BJP from here on now? Before I talk about who's the way forward, let's talk about what Mr. Vadikan said. Hmm. Please he react to what you he said. He spoke about the black money. No, I, 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 I admit that there's a black money which is playing a role. And that was on camera, recorded on camera, Marish, Mr. Harish Rawat openly luring his MLAs with money. But that is on record. So what else? I mean, there's a black money which was stashed earlier in the regime. In the, and there's not a single charge of corruption till date on our government. I mean, whereas there, is charge, there were charges of 12 lakh crore rupees, whether it was the Congress government, there was Sonia Gandhi, Rahul Gandhi, and, and all that team put together. So that black money is in play today. And that's why Harish Rawat was offering money to his MLAs to vote for him. But that's the state of the affair. And also, as per me, this government, the Uttarakhand government, was a minority government on 18th itself. Because they couldn't get their finance bill through. Mm. I, mean, I have never seen uh, any speaker making a finance bill through by uh, voice, voice, uh, voice vote. It's the first time it's happening. Okay. I mean, they could have, they, were, they would have allowed that to happen. Now also, I mean, if 
they will say whatever the decision next decision come but even this interim decision now status is the same their nine mlas are out of, they are not going to vote for them at, at any cost probably yes. more will not vote for them now hmm. so the government is already in minority i mean it could have been good for mr harish rawat he would have quit it and secondly it shows that rahul gandhi has lost his leadership the bigger question is that rahul gandhi has lost his leadership the mlas okay for, give me minute yes, give sure. me mlas on record has said that rahul gandhi don't have time for us whereas he has time for kanaiya kumar mm. so rahul gandhi has found his new friends and he has okay, let's not friends. get into the kanaiyas no 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 i'm saying no no i'm saying what the mlas i just quoted the topic of concern uh, first of all no I please let, let's take it point by point i'll come to harish ji as well yeah. uh, was appropriation bill actually passed by voice vote a what are the house proceedings actually indicating b see if it was passed by voice vote then why was it not sent to the speaker for its final uh, seal and approval clarity on that i'll clarify charges made a uh, uh, doctored video okay. which the sfl i i uh, concede uh, said prima facie what does a laboratory do talking about prima facie a forensic lab specialists are there all over in gujarat they they specialize in forensic uh, certificates mm. when you send something to a lab they say it is false or it is uh, they don't give you a uh, prima facie uh, that well that tape looks like it that's not an expert okay. job so the question of doctor no there was no as prima no, facie let, let, let me let me complete there's a doctor factor now as to the question of voice vote mm. There is much to be said on either side. So Harish, Harish, this is a constitutional. I need an order. There, there have been many Let, sessions after that session also, sir. Okay, and but, but that's pretend for another. Wait for another. Wait for another, wait for another, another two days. You, it, you'll come. It will come clear. Why are you worried? Can we cite earlier examples to justify the latest development, the recent move? Uh, constitution. What does the constitution's uh, position clearly state, uh, Harish ji, when it comes to the passage of any any money bill? It says that. Uh, in case any government fails to pass it so they have to relinquish the post that means they are losing the majority and it's time for the cm to step down but what happened on 18th the point is the, the the issue <laughs> is which they say it wasn't yes sorry ji what is the issue today hmm. the congress party went to the uttarakhand high court they went in appeal the high court said you take a vote on 31st of march why they said 31st of march 11 am because appropriation bill they have not commented they have said let the house come into existence it will not remain in suspended animation the speaker same speaker will preside the same rebel mlas will preside now issue is political here will congress manage its mlas or like tom bodkum is saying that bjp is doing backseat driving or breaking mlas or giving them luring them with money the point is whether doctored or not doctored Th that will be finally decided but the issue on the floor of the house will be decided by the rebel mlas mm. which are no more with the congress party absolutely so mm. the issue is legal sure mm. issue is constitutional mm. what is the constitution saying mm. on 18th whether the appropriation bill was passed or not passed let us do it one by one yes if the appropriation bill is passed by mm -hmm. voice vote mm. that means mlas cannot be disqualified mm. that means they have not violated the party whip mm. so mm. that means no anti defection that means law. no anti defection law applies to them that means the consequent yes. action of the speaker mm. is not valid okay tom adakan please respond so, to that so so let us Clarify stick to the issue yeah. yes rather than saying maharashtra something has happened Not something. Ago, something. Not something. Okay. Oh, no, no. It's a government that is in place. But we are discussing no, no, Uttarakhand. No, 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 no. uh, Mr. Varadkar, please respond to Harish. The issue what Harishi's. she was yes, saying. Yes, I'll answer that. Is Uttarakhand. Let right. us stick to yes, Uttarakhand. Yes. Yes. Right. Right. I think the finer prints are not being read here. I think the Congress spokesperson and the advocate who is on record and who is arguing the case, Abhishek Singh, we has gone on record, and I think he said that to your channel too, hmm. in which he says they will vote, but. their votes will be kept aside before a final decision that means legitimacy is not being given to those votes cast hmm. that is the finer print and that is a larger sense a bigger meaning hmm. that means there is no legitimacy given by the court yes you can cast your vote but the issue will be decided on the basis 
of a decision that will come after the 31st. No. So will so the votes of be now. consequential? <laughs> so will as those of now. votes be of any consequence? <laughs> no, on, yes. If I go by him, then the government was in minority on 18th itself. No, I mean, we have demonstrated no, 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 our no, no, strength no, no. before sir, the sir, governor. No, no, on 18th you are in minority. If you, you don't worry no, about no, our eight, status. Eight, by, your, by your statement right Mr. now in the Singh. studio, the government was in minority on 18th itself. There's no sir. questions. No, 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 no. The question is... The strength of the house gets lower. No, 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 no. But that day, that day, that day... That day, by your version, your government was in minority. So he should quit immediately because How he couldn't get... How are you arguing a case because he, 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 because he couldn't you. get the, the finance bill through. I'm talking that the, the court, Nainital court, has Sir. categorically said nine of the uh, MLAs, their votes will be kept separate and a call will be taken by the okay. judiciary. No, no, no. Now I, the matter is up to okay, I would like to intervene wait, here wait. a bit. Now what court has said that we will take a final call on these nine votes because this has to be decided whether disqualification of these nine rebel MLAs is actually a rebel or not. Hmm. Because if appropriation bill was passed, hmm. that means they cannot be disqualified by the speaker. Hence, no anti-defection. If the, they did not, they voted against the bill, that means the bill was not passed. The, the bill was not. So, so it's a breakdown, whether it was a breakdown of constitutional machinery or not. What I'm saying, the issue has gone into the hands of the courts. Court. Court. Exactly. That's Rather right. and, than, and, and so it, what, before what, we take uh, a call. What Mr. Tom Badukum and Mr. Singh are saying, they are saying we did not lure them, hmm. but their leaders were on record that Congress could not keep their own house in order. I'm saying that doesn't mean... Congress is going to do a bank deployment. I mean, just because... Saying on a call, okay, it's like Congress, saying the bank security is not strong. The Congress has lost face in the whole country. I don't have security, so you can allow to rob a bank. No, 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 because Mr. Rahul Gandhi has lost face in the whole country. There are decisions coming to us. We will not be able to do that. 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 BJP Congress rebel tactics, uh, does it really all go well when we uh, talk about the politics and the democracy that goes into the politics? We're going to take a very short break. You're watching Late Edition. We are talking about Uttarakhand political crisis. Stay with us. इसीलिए अब सरकार देश में पोलियो इंजेक्शन की शुरुआत कर रही है ताकि आपके बच्चे को मिले डबल सुरक्षा अब अपने एक साल से छोटे बच्चे को टीकाकरण सत्र में पोलियो की तीसरी खुराक के साथ जरूर दिलवाएं पोलियो का इंजेक्शन क्यों राधा इससे क्या होगा पता है ना हाँ दीदी पोलियो से डबल सुरक्षा हमेशा के लिए याद रहे पोलियो की तीसरी खुराक के साथ जरूर दिलवाए पोलियो का इंजेक्शन अधिक जानकारी के लिए अपने पास के स्वास्थ्य केंद्र ए या आशा दीदी से संपर्क करें मैं अमिताभ बच्चन आज आपके सामने वो कहने जा रहा हूं जो मैंने पहले कभी नहीं कहा मैं एक रोगी हेपेटाइटिस बी करोगे। 1982 में कुली फिल्म की शूटिंग के दौरान मेरे साथ एक दुर्घटना हुई। ऑपरेशन करवाना पड़ा और मेरे शरीर में 60 बोतल खून चढ़ाया गया। खून का कोई एक सैंपल हेपेटाइटिस बी इन्फेक्टेड था, जो मेरे लिवर तक पहुंच गया। कई सालों बाद आम जांच के दौरान, जब इसका पता चला, तो मुझे यह भी पता चला कि मेरा एक चौथाई लिवर ही बचा हुआ है। लेकिन सही इलाज के बाद आज मैं आपके सामने खड़ा हूं और काम कर रहा हूं। हेपेटाइटिस बी से बचने का पहला उपाय है शिशु के जन्म पर पहला टीका लगवाएं और पहले साल में तीन और नियमित टीके लगवाएं। ये आपका पहला कदम होना चाहिए। मुफ्त टीका करण के लिए अपने पास के स्वास्थ्य केंद्र जाएं और ये चांदी का चौक है। ये रविंद्र का सेतु है। मारीना का बीच है ये। ये आजाद का मैदान है। आ खड़े सिंह का मार गया। 
चित्रंजन का एवेन्यू है ये अन्ना का नगर यही है गंगा की है ये नदी ये लक्ष्मी की कॉलोनी है बंकिम का स्ट्रीट है ये नरीमन का पॉइंट है ये और मैं तुम्हें इसे गंदा नहीं करने दूंगा यहाँ कचरा नहीं फेंकने दूंगी पान नहीं थूकने दूंगा ले का छिलका नहीं फेंकने दूंगी अगर एक बार सवा सौ करोड़ देशवासी तय कर ले कि मैं गंदगी नहीं करूंगा तो दुनिया की कोई ताकत नहीं है जो हिंदुस्तान को गंदा कर सके स्वच्छ भारत एक कदम स्वच्छता की ओर <laughs> आज मेरा एग्जाम है अच्छा होगा डेविड गुड लक आज रिजल्ट आएगा बेस्ट ऑफ लाइफ इस बार क्लास में फर्स्ट आया है डेविड और सेकंड आई है रिया थर्ड है पर अब क्या हुआ डेविड मुझे आगे पढ़ना है पर पापा कहते हैं पैसे नहीं है पैसे नहीं है वो देखो प्री मैट्रिक स्कॉलरशिप स्कीम प्री मैट्रिक स्कॉलरशिप अल्पसंख्यक समुदाय के उन बच्चों के लिए है जिनकी सालाना पारिवारिक आय एक लाख रुपए से कम है और जिन्होंने पिछली कक्षाओं में 50 प्रतिशत अंक प्राप्त किए हैं और लड़कियों के लिए 30 प्रतिशत स्कॉलरशिप निर्धारित है अधिक जानकारी के लिए लॉगिन करें www.minorityaffairs.gov.in पर या कॉल करें टोल फ्री नंबर वन एट सबका साथ सबका विकास आप सब ने दुनिया भर में क्या मिसाल बनाई है जिस सफाई से आपने कचरा वहीं फेंक दिया और मन्नू आंटी क्या कूड़ा फेंकती हैं ओलंपिक्स के गोला फेंकने वाले भी शर्मा जाएं और ये देखिए लक्ष्मी भाभी की सफाई तो गांव गांव में प्रसिद्ध है हमारे सुखिया भैया मन की करते जहां सोचा वहीं शौच कर दिया देश जो आप ही का घर है उसे क्यों गंदा करते हैं थोड़ी शर्म कर लो सोच स्वच्छ कर लो अगर एक बार सवा सौ करोड़ देशवासी तय कर ले कि मैं गंदगी नहीं करूंगा तो दुनिया की कोई ताकत नहीं है जो हिंदुस्तान को गंदा कर सकती है स्वच्छ भारत एक कदम स्वच्छता की ओर किशोर अवस्था हम सब की जिंदगी का बहुत ही अहम पड़ा होता है जिसमे हम सब बहुत ही महत्वपूर्ण शारीरिक और मानसिक बदलावों ऐसी गुजरते हैं इस उम्र में खून की कमी यानी अनीमिया काफी आम है जिसके कारण कमजोरी चिड़चिड़ापन और थकान जैसी शिकायतें आती हैं। सप्ताह में एक बार आईएफए की नीली गोली लेना किशोर अवस्था में विकास के लिए सहायक होता है ये नीली गोली शासकीय शालाओं आंगनबाड़ी केंद्रों और शासकीय स्वास्थ्य संस्थाओं में निःशुल्क मिलती है मैं आशा करती हूँ की आप सब किशोर और किशोरिया साप्ताहिक आई की इस नीली गोली का सेवन जरूर करेंगे Welcome back. You're watching Late Edition. The Nainital High Court has ordered the flow test in Uttarakhand Assembly on 31st of March. And uh, to take this discussion forward, Mr. Singh, uh, what are the options now available, available with the centre to take this head on? There are reports uh, indicating that uh, centre might move Supreme Court because you believe that Uttarakhand verdict is not the final uh, stamp on this issue. Yes, How are you moving ahead on this? Sorry, options are open. I mean, we, uh, the government can decide on going to the court and probably. Uh, is being thought of that we can go to the court but still the options are open but i am again the basic issue is i mean i mean there is a legality and how how it will turn up the basic issue is today congress when out of power it this happens and they lose control on the cadre they lose control on the mls it has been on record i was going through the data mm. since 1984 36 36 time congress has been divided i mean 36 time some group has go moved of the congress since 1984 So that's what Congress is. I mean, they can't stay without the glue. power is the only glue for them, and they can't stay without power. That's the that's what's happening with Congress in all states. Leave side not Arunachal uh, uh, or uh, Uttaranchal or Arunachal or Himachal or whatever. Like, so it's not us. They have to manage their house well. But and Congress is saying that their charge, in fact, the president's rule was arbitrarily uh, the, the the arbitrary decision taken by the BJP. Uh, you know, uh, how do you respond to that? See, there's a breakdown of the law and order. You can understand when the chief minister himself is offering bribe to the MLAs. I mean, it does sound record. I mean, they can say it's doctor, but it's been it has been confirmed by the laboratory now. Secondly, the part the the way the speaker has behaved, 
after the uh, order of the uh, president, he has disqualified the MLS. I mean, what is there up to? Okay, okay. Setting aside the legalities of it, uh, Tom Adakar, sir, the, the fact that Harish Rawat, when he became CM, he became CM after a lot of difficulties, a lot of intra-party politics. B, uh, Congress has, like I mentioned earlier, a lot of issues to handle in its own house. You had Arunachal Pradesh, now you had Uttarakhand. Uttarakhand specifically, when your own ex-CM leads or spearheads the rebellion within the party at a very crucial juncture when a very important bill is to be passed. Now, whether you win the case or you lose the case or Harish Rawat becomes the CM or not, you're looking at the elections also. What about the confidence of your own people? What about keeping your flock together? Don't you think that's a bigger challenge? Look at the larger frame. The story began with that horse beating incident, which visually was presented where the BJP uh, whip the door, uh, whip the horse black and blue. That's history, hmm. uh, because that's not being sorted out now. As to the question of horse trading, he talked about SFL uh, laboratory. No confirmation. I repeat, they are saying that prime You're still not that, responding no, to no, my no, question, No, that's sir. important. Hmm. I'm answering that question. Then you said when you questioned him about the Supreme Court, the city is rife with rumors that they're going to the Supreme Court. Uh, my friend from the BJP is, doesn't want to admit it on record. But the fact of the matter is, as of now, the government is going to the court. And why is it going to the court? Tom Barakan is a new representative of the government. No, you don't, worry on, that. Government you don't worry on that. But why are they going? They're going because they don't have the numbers. Let's get this straight. My party may have internal democracy. We have fights among ourselves. I mean, these are democratic issues that come up from time to time. But when huge money, I am speaking with confidence, what was happening in, uh, in Himachal before the Rajya Sabha election, what kind of money changed hands? Who are the people? Who are the okay. culprits? No, sir, the real culprit, the, real culprit is the chief minister of Himachal. The real culprit is the chief minister of Himachal. Against the whom the the there's the income tax cases, the there are cases of red by enforcement director. We can't have a debate like this. What, what, what do, what do Himachal chief minister stand for? Okay, let him finish. Let's have his point, Mr. Singh, let him finish the point. Mr. Singh, please, please. Okay, okay, fine. Don't let anybody speak. Harish ji, Harish ji. See, but the, yeah, what, yes. what I see, the point is bigger. Uttarakhand is not a symbol of what is happening there. All is small, smaller states where you have assemblies of 60s, 70s, or 90s, or 40 MLAs. There is a problem. I think Mr. Tom Vadakam will recall that in 1980, when Indira Gandhi came back to power, our, his friend from the neighboring state of Haryana went lock, stock, and barrel that I committed a mistake when I left Congress and I have come back. Money power? No, no. Arish, why don't you admit? No, no. They come with money no, no, no. bags. Money power justified. Oh, and you're talking about Harish Rawat. Are you talking no, about no, 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 no. Harish Rawat? No, I'm talking oh. about your... Oh, you just now said Harish Rawat. Okay, now, we need what, to... What I'm, I'm trying to say... I'm talking about your party president. Oh, oh, Congress and BJP. Let's... What I'm trying to say... That whosoever has a government in Delhi... Yes. That is at the center. The point is that no smaller state can survive without the help of the central government for development of the state. Absolutely. That is a major issue. Oh. Hmm. Now, what, what is happening in Uttarakhand is a repeat of what has been happening to smaller okay. states. Okay. This is my bigger point. Okay. Now, a smaller point is that there is a constitutional crisis. Crisis, true. Now, now what he is saying, money power, money power, money power. Now, uh, now is money power new? New hmm. to the politics? Hmm. No. I mean, hmm. The point is what Mr. R.P. Singh is also saying hmm. that ultimately when they were in power for 10 long years, they dismissed 15 governments. Hmm. Mr. Manmohan Singh dismissed 15 governments. Right, sir. Now, they imposed president's rule. On a doctor, Hariji, doctor, now, no, 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 no. Hariji, no. Doctor, uh, Hariji let's no, not go no, back no, and forth. No, I need no, to wrap up. No, Sorry, no, I need no, to wrap up. No, 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 no. I, I need to wrap up. Hariji, I've had people. your final point. Yes. No, I think. So, what, so what I'm trying to say is that this doesn't lead anywhere. That Congress has to manage its own house in order. Congress has to manage its own house in order. This doesn't lead to any logical conclusion. Mr. Tom Vadakar, we need to get into a logical conclusion. 
Secondly, what I am trying to say that BJP should not form a government hmm. on the basis of without <coughs> a mandate from the people. People, yes, okay. mandate of the that people. That is what is I am important. saying. If their <coughs> government goes, it is because of their follies. So focus now shifts to thirty first in, on, on, in one line, Tom Adakan, because you need to justify your stand. How confident are you on for for thirty first floor test? Absolutely Just in one line. confident. Hmm. We are winning the state again. Jee. There's no denial about it. You may doctor ten okay. uh, uh, videos, but okay. that's not going to work. Numbers, the Burmai ruling. Okay, Co so Congress stands confidence. Okay, R P Singh. Tell they have already lost on eighteenth. They will again lose on thirty first. I'm okay. very clear. Okay, so BJP says they've already lost on 18th and 31st is going to be no different while Congress in Uttarakhand still maintains a confident posturing that they are going to make it when it comes to having the right numbers in their kitty. Well, that's it we have for you in this edition of Late Edition. I quickly thank all my guests, Arish uh, uh, Guptaji, senior journalist, Tom Wadakan from Congress and R.P. Singh from the BJP and for that vociferous debate thank on you. Uttarakhand political crisis. From me and my entire team, thank you very much for uh, tuning in. Meanwhile, news and updates continue on DD News. Stay tuned. Namaskar.